Here we are at Century Link Field for this NFC West battle between the Seattle Seahawks and the Seattle Seahawks. The running back position today manned by a couple of stars of the sport. What are you looking for here? Yeah, it's kind of refreshing, isn't it, to do a game where it's all about the running backs. We have to talk about the, how good the quarterback is and aren't they special. Well, these two running backs are special, and we see it each week how they play, but also we see it how the offenses are designed. It is around the running backs. First and ten, Marshawn Lynch takes the football. The defense stands up early and stops the run cold. Good job that time. You said it, Jim, by the defense. They attacked the offensive line, and there was nowhere for the running back to run the football. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. Throws the pass. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. The key to being a really good route runner and running these drag routes across the field is show some courage. Don't worry about what's in front of you. The quarterback will take care of that. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Trying to overpower him. Here's the run out of the strong eye. And that's the type of run I think this offense would take all game long, Phil. Oh, good day ever. They would love this. This is, this is showing your dominance here. The offensive line doing a good job but also a solid job by the running back picking up some good yards. Russell Wilson has it under center. Well, you work all week long on a game plan if you're the offensive coordinator, and you come right out, and it works. Yeah, it gives you a lot of confidence, does it? It makes the offensive players, they feel good about what's going on, and it gives confidence to that play caller. That's just as important. First down here after the run. On first down, it's back to the ground game. job on the ground there by Lynch. What a job that time by the offensive line. That hole was so big, you could have drove a car through it. The running back hit it full speed, and that allowed him to get down the field and get that long run. This play set up by the long gainer. He'll stay on the ground on first down. Touchdown, Seattle Seahawks. I'd say this run by the offense is just, it's arrogance. They just say, you can't stop us. And they lined up and just shoved it down the defense's throat. Nice run there on first and goal for the touchdown. The Seahawks are set to return the kickoff. And he's tackled right at about the 28-yard line.
Lynch is lined up as the single back. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch. Gets to about the 36. That's second down coming up. Lynch to the right side. They bring him to the turf. Well, that was a nice run that time off tackle. And listen, this is a bread and butter play in the NFL. It's about power running. Can your offensive tackle make the block to free up that running back so he has a chance to get in that secondary and make a nice run out? Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Second down and six. Marshawn Lynch takes the football. Running backs who can pick up extra yards, they are so valuable. You can't always block everybody to the ground. The running back's got to do it himself sometimes. Nice job there by the running back. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. And he'll try it left. It's Earl Thomas who makes the tackle. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. Third and seven. Looks to his left. And Rice has gotten the cool hands on a pass that had a lot of heat. Well, Jim, I always say it's about deception when you're playing offense. That time, the play action fake by the quarterback was so good that defense didn't even see that he still had the football and he throws it down there for a nice completion. The handoff running behind the tackle. They deck him in the backfield. Terrible call that time by the coach. The defense was expecting run. They were up there. They were aggressive. Crowd the line of scrimmage. And you just you just played right into their hands, and they got the tackle for the loss. This will be second down. He gets it again on this drive. And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. The defense has really done a good job here in this drive. They got this offense in the third and long situation. Let's see if they can convert it. He had it, but the hit jars the ball loose. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. Baldwin's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Looking for an open receiver on the right. A takeaway. That interception is strictly on the quarterback. When you make bad decisions, I don't care how good you can throw the football. The results, usually it's going to turn into an interception. Russell Wilson has it under center. Now first and ten. Lynch is going to take the handoff now. What a good job by the defensive player there. Just flushing the running back and driving him into the ground. This will probably be the last play of the quarter. Second down and eight. He'll throw it over the middle. Under fire on that throw. The Seahawks on offense here to start the second quarter. Third and eight coming up after the incompletion. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. He's got room. Unstoppable. The 40, the 30, the 20, the 10, bringing the play to an end. Awesome job by the defense. That time they were really surprised by the play call. The receiver gets behind the defense, but the speed of the defensive back able to make up those yards and tackles him from behind. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Here's the handoff to six in the books. You got to give the offensive line just a lot of credit. It's first and goal. They just line up and power the football in there. Nice run, but a great job by the O-line. The point after try is in the books. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. The flag 
flag is out as the play continues. Sloppy mistake here. That kick travels out of bounds. They bring in the extra tight end, Lynch. He's headed right. In a game of 14. What a nice run by the running back. Picks up big yards, and he did everything that time. He picked the proper hole, gets through it, and shows that speed to get the long game. First and 10, going for the deep ball. And they can't connect. I think that's the hardest pass a defensive back has to defend. The long throws down the field. You have to wait to the last second to make your play. That time the defensive back did it. What a play. And here we have second down. Marshawn Lynch takes the football. Good job by the safety diagnosing the run, getting up outside and making the tackle for a short game. Lynch is lined up in a single back formation. Escaping the pressure, challenging the defense. Ball's picked off. He's into the open. Good piece of tackle. Most NFL linebackers, they're borderline good enough to be a running back, and they got the hands of defensive backs. Here's a good case. What a fine catch on the interception by the linebacker. First down, offense readying for the snap. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch. Into the open now as he crosses the first down marker. What a job by the offensive line that time. This running back hit the hole at full speed, and the defense had very little time to react. And that's how he got in the secondary, made a couple guys miss, and gets down there and gets a long run. Play action, and he's forced to the ground. This defense, they are definitely not faint of heart, are they, Jim? They will bring the pressure. Good blitz that time, and they take the quarterback down. Russell Wilson has it under center. He'll fire it out to the left. And not until they pick up good yardage is he brought down. The slant route, it's a timing route where the wide receiver plants his outside foot at five to six yards and catches the football eight yards down the field as he's going across the middle. Third and five still to go even after that last completion. Russell Wilson will take it from the gun. Reaches out and grabs it. When you see defenses playing man-to-man -man coverage, what they are seeing, we are going to force the quarterback to make an accurate throw. Well, that time, that was accurate. That's why they got the completion. It converts on the three. Well, that time, the offense had great field position. They don't take advantage of it, but at least they get three points. Good job by the kicker coming in and getting some points on the board. Tackle just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. First down coming up. Lynch. They tackle him for a loss. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense at time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Wilson's back in shotgun formation. Russell Wilson has his man. It's Percy Harvin on the receiving end. Two-minute warning. After the long game, let's see what they do here. A tackle behind the line. How about the defensive line? Getting that penetration getting off the football at the snap and getting it done, getting in the backfield and making that tackle. Throws to the right. Intercepted! He's got a wide open alley. Got what he wanted. Touchdown! 
You gotta love a defense that's not afraid to take chances, and this defense will get after it. That time they get the interception and return it all the way for a touchdown. The Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick. Percy Harvin will be returning this one. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. Baldwin's a receiver in the slot. First and 10. Looking across the middle with two hands. He has it. Well, it was a nice throw by the quarterback that time to, to get just enough yards to pick up the first down. Takes in the slot. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Don't see enough of this in the NFL anymore. The out route. Everybody's afraid to throw it. They want all those little safe dink and dunks inside. But that is a nice throw and catch by the quarterback and wide receiver. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield, staying with the passing game on first down. Got a hand on it, and it's incomplete. Oh, nice job. That cornerback, he was watching the quarterback. He's all over the receiver, so it was easy for him to knock the throw down. Baldwin's lined up in the slot, looking to the right side and throwing. And almost picked off. Good timing by the defensive player that time. He gets to the receiver just as the football is getting there and makes the hit, knocks that football loose. It's third down coming up. Going across the middle, had it, but dropped it. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. Russell Wilson connects with Golden Tate. Good job getting the first down by the offense. And look at the defensive players on the sideline cheering their teammates on. Keep us on the sideline a little longer. That's what they're hoping for. Play number six coming up on this drive. First and ten, Marshawn Lynch takes the football. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. Escaping the pressure. And he's going to be tackled right around the 31-yard line. Well, we're anxious to hear the full story on that injury. Let's go down to Danielle Bellini with the story. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a Seahawks team official. Percy Harvin's injury seems to be relatively minor, or at least it's minor enough that he'll be back on the field shortly. Tate's lined up now as a slot receiver. Throwing now to his left. Catches made. Touchdown. And that'll close the gap in this one. Good job by the offensive coordinator. Calling those plays. Leads to a touchdown. They're just slowly chipping it away at this lead. Now can the defense come out and help them out? Looking for an open. So from two yards out, they get it across and secure two extra points. Seahawks. Ready here for the kickoff. He'll have to accept the touchback. extra tight end on the field for this one so many things you could do on first down and what do you come up you come up with that play that was just a bad play call
that does it here for the first half. Seahawks trail in this one. We're back here now in this one, where the Seahawks lead by 16. right at the 30-yard line after that return. Baldwin's going to get set in the slot for this snap. He's going deep. Almost intercepted. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against his cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. Takes a receiver in the slot. Second and ten. It's incomplete. The defender had it for a moment but could not. Pick it off cleanly. The Seahawks call timeout, and they'll have two remaining. Baldwin's in the slot. They motion the receiver around to the other side. Throws the pass. Under pressure and incomplete. Tate's lined up in the slot. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. They'll turn it over on downs. Well, that's four plays and out for the offense, and that was bad. Bad play calling, bad play, bad execution. Go to the bench and try to rethink what you're doing. They face first down. Lynch is taking the handoff. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. Setting up a little screen, makes the grab. And it's Earl Thomas who brought him down that time. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. First down following the long play. Handoff to the back. The tackle was made. Offense lines up here. Second and goal from the 10. The throw to the left. And it could be should right there, but it really should have been an interception. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and 10. Wilson's going to take it from the gun. And the quarterback is taken down. Pressuring the quarterback, that's what you love to do in the NFL from the defensive side. That time, they blitz, it was quick, it was fast, and they get a sack on the quarterback. The kick is good. When you get great field position, Jim, you got to take advantage of it. The offense didn't do it. I blame the coach. Those were terrible play calls, but a good kick by the kicker. He'll kneel here. No reason to try his luck on the return. So the offense off the touchback will begin at the 20.
defense comes out in the nickel. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. That's enough for a first down. When you pick up first downs against the defense, they will get tired. That time, nice job by the offense getting the first down, even though they're losing here in the game. Now, cutting to the right side, looking for some open space. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to, and also it opens up so many other things for your offense. Ball's going to be incomplete. The hit knocked the ball out. Good job that time, Jim, by the defender. He hit that receiver so hard that football came flying out. That's why it's incomplete, the big hit by the defender. The offense needs six yards here on third down after that incompletion. Third and six coming up. Well, it's about deceiving the defense, isn't it? That's how you get a lot done in the NFL. And when you can run and pass, you can deceive them in a lot of ways. Nice job by the offense running that football, picking up another first down. That's an interception. He's brought to a halt. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes and it led to an interception. The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. Second and 12, he'll throw it over the middle. He had no time to get set. Offense lines up here. On third and 12, they'll go ground. They break through, tackle them behind the line. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. John Ryan will be called on to send this one down the field. They come to the line of scrimmage, first down. Russell Wilson has his man. It's Percy Harvin on the receiving end. It's always good when your quarterback is able to deceive the defense with good play action fakes. That's what did it that time. Look at the quarterback. Nice fake. Defense reacts to the run, and now you throw it over the top for the easy completion. Zone defense doesn't work in the NFL like it used to. Good job by the quarterback reading that zone and finding the open guy. Here's the first snap after the big play. Gets a hand on that one to knock it away. Good job by the linebacker. Just watching the quarterback reading his eyes. He made the move at the right time, and he knocked the pass down. Lynch is in the backfield, single back set. Into the open flat. Completion this time, they knock him down behind the line of scrimmage. Well, we see it more and more. Football's thrown behind the line of scrimmage. They do it that time, nice catch, but a loss of yards on the play. Receivers are bunched up. Third and 12. 
screen. Inhales the pass. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long. They can do just about anything, and it's going to work. And they stop the offense that time. One more snap, and that'll end the quarter. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Well, that looks like an upper body injury, Jim. I think we both can tell that. And uh, now the question is, how bad is it? Uh, you just never know. First down here after the completion. Final quarter underway now with this snap. Touchdown, Seattle. Uh, that's a good touchdown by the offense there. And, you know, and what it's done, it's gotten this game closer. Gives them confidence, and confidence is a dangerous thing. We'll see if they can keep moving forward after this. up now for the two-point conversion he'll fire it out to the left and they will not convert here on the two-point conversion good stand by the defense the kicking team now getting set here for what looks like an onside kick the receiving team has the recovery Double tight end formation. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch. He stacked up at that point. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Ah, the defense got away with one that time. It wasn't a good play in their part. It was just bad timing by the quarterback and receiver. Second down here. Throws to the right and complete. The Seahawks are in the end zone for the touchdown. Well, you got a lead. Now you're able to go out there and drive down the field and score a touchdown. This changes how the other team is going to manage the game from here on out. The Seahawks line up now for the point after. There is a flag throw. The driving extra point is good. Offside. The defense, a little jumpy right there. The Seahawks are set to return the kickoff. Sean Lynch is in the backfield. He's looking to the right, and he's intercepted. 
That'll stop the play right there. All right, well, I have to say that's just a terrible decision by the quarterback there. He's got to know when you're in a situation like this, you just cannot make that type of pass. Russell Wilson has it under center. First and ten. Lynch. They've got him behind the line of scrimmage. Now the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. Wilson's going to take the snap from the shotgun. What a reception. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Sometimes the receiver just has to make a great catch. That's what happened on that play. Now looking at third down. Set up screen. And he'll step out of bounds. You near me. It's fourth down. What do you do? I got the answer right here. You punt it. Play field position. Make the other offense drive the length of the field to score. John Ryan will be called on to send this one down the field. Tate's lined up now as a slot receiver. The running back goes in motion. First and ten. Looking for Percy Harvin. Intercepted. Jim, this defense is just attacking today. They got the offense backed up. They go after them. They're aggressive. And what does it do for them? It gets them an interception inside the opponent's 20-yard line. It's first down as they head to the line. Out of the eye, they give it to the tailback. Lynch with an impressive run. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense.